Good day, YouTube. Good day, JTV. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You got the Albino Rhino here, and we are reviewing a beer. We are reviewing Blue Moon Agava Nectar. For those of you that don't know, Agava is what's used in uh, tequila. So, this blonde wheat ale is crafted with Agava Nectar for a subtle sweetness and a balanced taste. 5.6 percent alcohol by volume this actually came in a mixed pack with uh, their blackberry tart ale this regular blue moon rounder and um, short straw I didn't mind the black tart I don't mind blue moon uh, the 12 packs like 1247 so cheaper than anything you can buy here in Canada so that's a good price I mean if they're okay. Even if they're passable, that's a good price if you just need something in the fridge. So. There you go. It says it's a wheat beer with a gava nectar. Uh, if it's a wheat beer, it's a crystal wisen because it's uh, super see-through. It's a nice sort of amber gold color. Beautiful head. Uh, the head has some nice viscosity. It does stick to the sides of the glass. It, um... Uh, Has a little bit of staying power. Mm. Really, I don't know if my nose just isn't working tonight or if this just is again a nothing special smell. a little sweetness coming off on the nose. A little sweetness and a little bit of a wheat smell. Uh, cheers. Let's try it. Ooh. Now, to the defense of this beer, I don't like tequila. And yes, it's not a tequila flavored beer. It is an agava flavored beer. But agava is what they make tequila out of and it's it's not for me. It really isn't. Um, medium mouthfeel, proper mouthfeel for a wheat beer. Medium to heavy is what you want. Basically, it tastes like a macro ale with a little extra sweetness. Uh, regular Blue Moon is ten times better than this, to, to me personally. Regular Blue Moon, ten times better than what this tastes like. This is just... It's just a little bit of an agava sweetness, with because agava is a pretty sweet fruit, uh, with uh, with a macro ale. It doesn't even taste like a wheat ale. It doesn't even taste like like a Molson Canadian. Wheat. One second. This is Molson Canadian wheat. There was one sip left in it. It tastes like Molson Canadian wheat with a little bit of sweetness. It's a passable beer, but of the four I've now drank out of the, uh, one of them being the, uh, the rounder Belgian pale ale, one of them being the regular Blue Moon wheat ale, one of them being the blackberry tart ale, and then the agava nectar ale. This is the weakest of the four. There's only one left for me to try, and that's the short straw. But this is the weakest of the four in the four pack in the twelve pack. Uh, I'd give this a five. I'd just pass it. it. It's drinkable. Unfortunately, there's four of them in the twelve pack because it's it's not the best beer in there. So four out of ten, uh, five out of ten. Sorry for the uh, blue moon agava nectar ale. It's passable. It's drinkable. It's basically a sweeter version of the Molson Canadian wheat. Thank you guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.